Over the last five years or so, molecular genetics has become an increasingly important topic in the biological science section for the MCAT. One particular topic in that general area is genetic mutations. Genetic mutations are changes in the DNA or RNA sequence. These mutations may result in changes to the amino acid sequence of a protein, thereby changing the structure of the protein and thereby changing the function of the protein. Genetic mutations are characterized either as expressed mutations or silent mutations. On the board, you see a flow chart that helps us organize the different types of expressed and silent mutations. Let's talk first of all about silent mutations. A silent mutation is a change in the genetic code that does not ultimately result in changes in the amino acid sequence of a protein. For example, if a genetic mutation occurs in a region of DNA called junk DNA, this is non-coding DNA, and therefore the mutation will never be expressed. Another way in which a mutation may be silent is if the mutation takes place in a region of RNA known as the intron. The intron is an intervening sequence of non-coding RNA. It is excised out or spliced out and does not in fact contribute to the coding of the amino acid sequence for a protein. Furthermore, for every amino acid that occurs naturally in the human body, there are at least three and sometimes four different codon sequences. These codon sequences are sequences of three nucleotide bases. Since there are more than one codon sequence for each amino acid, it's possible that a genetic mutation may change a codon into a different codon that codes for the same amino acid. This is known as the degeneracy or redundancy of the genetic system. Expressed mutations are changes in the genetic code that result in changes in the amino acid sequence. We have two general classes of expressed mutations. First, we have the frame shift mutations, and second, we have the point mutations. Point mutations arise when a single nucleotide is substituted for another nucleotide. This can result in two different types of point mutations. One is known as missense, in which the codon that codes for a particular amino acid is changed into a codon that codes for a different amino acid. The second type of point mutation is, is known as a nonsense mutation. In this instance, a coding codon is transformed into a non-coding or stop codon. This is a nonsense mutation. And finally, as a result of the degeneracy of the system, we need to remember that sometimes point mutations themselves can be silenced as a result of the multiplicity of the codons for each of the amino acids. The last category of expressed mutations are frame shift mutations. Frame shift mutations are of two types, insertions or deletions. In an insertion, as the name would suggest, a nucleotide is inserted into the genetic code. As a result of this insertion, the reference frame of reading the genetic code is shifted over by one nucleotide. This radically alters the amino acid sequence for the protein, rendering the protein largely non-functioning. In a deletion frame shift, there is a deletion of a nucleotide, which results in a shifting of the reading frame of reference of the sequence of codons. Like insertions, deletions change the reading frame of reference, thereby changing radically the sequence of amino acids. This typically has the effect of rendering the protein non-functional. So here is a flowchart that shows you the different ways in which mutations can arise in the genetic code and then be expressed or silenced in the amino acid sequence.